second international festival of biotechnology is a quest for the pursuit of the use of living organisms or their products to modify human health and the human environment city montessori school rajendranagar campus 1 under the leadership of its principal and convener of quest 2011 ms deepa tiwari and in the guidance of the founders of city montessori school drs jagdish and bharati gandhi through informal hands-on approach that works best with young minds has opened an attractive gateway drawing the academically curious to lucknow biotechnology often described as the subject for today and tomorrow world unity convention center auditorium was a beehive of activity as the teams from various states of india as well as countries like singapore jordan russia bangladesh sri lanka nepal were teaming up for registration observing the enormous impact the grand portal that is biotechnology has on a number of sectors today quest 2011 was graced by the minister for science and technology government of uttar pradesh mr abdul manan who was graciously received by the founder manager of city montessori school dr jagdish gandhi and the convener of quest ms deepa tiwari The future peace, security and ordered progress of the world demand a world federation of free nations to be addressed by a world government empowered by an enforceable world law. Here are our young parliamentarians representing various nations being led by their principal Ms Deepa Tiwari through a world procession. They seem to march with the nostalgia of the past with a vision and a beautiful dream of a brighter tomorrow when the world will be truly one yes based on equality of all nations one world government one world court of justice and an international law a world parliament with the key words of global peace harmony universal love and brotherhood it is the cms belief that children should be encouraged to think about world affairs In a unique debate called the Model World Parliament, watch the students take up the burning issue of rampant terrorism in the world. An emergency meeting of the heads of the states to discuss the problem of rising terrorism. The world has been taken over by the clones of terrorists. Now, I invite the member nations to volunteer suggestions to save planet Earth and restore peace and harmony in the world. To make this dream a reality, CMS has tirelessly worked in the direction of making this world a better place to live in. The central theme of all discussions focuses on how to ensure lasting world peace through complete education that has divinity at its core. Climate change threatens all the elements essential for life, such as land, water, health, and environment. The 2006 report by an economist, Nicholas Stern, commissioned by the UK government. want that the temperatures could increase by 2 or 3 degree in the next 50 years 
and if nothing is done by as much as five or eight degree in the next century. A catastrophic scenario. Its most obvious manifestations would be the change in climatic conditions, more heat waves, storms due to the melting of glaciers. This could affect more than 30% of the world's agricultural land. Unabated climate change could cause the world at least 5% of the GDP each year, which could even rise up to 20%. What role is green biotechnology playing in fighting to control climate change? Climate change is surely the most serious issue facing the world today. Member delegates from USA and Argentina, Ms. Sanya, Ms. Anshika, and Master Prakar, you are recognized. You may take the floor. Genetically modified herbicide tolerant crops help farmers by reducing the need to plough their fields while preparing the land for sowing, thus saving fuel. Genetically modified insect resistant crops have been developed which require fewer insecticide treatments. This in turn means a reduction in fuel use and lower carbon dioxide emission since farmers need to spray pesticides less frequently on their fields. Oil carbon sequestration will be an important part of any international strategy to mitigate the increase in atmospheric CO2 concentrations. One way is by reducing the amount of conventional tillage. Due to reduced need of plowing with the passage of time, soil quality is enhanced and becomes carbon enriched since more crop residue can be left on the fields. Thus we saw what immense potential biotechnology has in shaping the future of the world. <laughs> Before we formally end the session of the World Parliament, let's take a solemn pledge to join hands with CMS to see the culmination of our dream of a beautiful, pollution-free, hunger-free, and a disease-free world. Let's join hands to make this perception a reality. Principal of CMS Rajendranagar Campus 1, the host branch and convener of Quest 2011, Ms. Deepa Tiwari threw some light on the idea behind hosting this International Festival of Biotechnology and welcomed the parents and guests. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to the Quest, the second International Festival of Biotechnology. As we all know, that biotechnology promises to play a very significant role in the betterment of mankind. The tremendous increase in population and the recent development of human beings have greatly affected the nature. So, the role of biotechnology is to find out the best possible ways that do not disturb the nature and prove to be beneficial for the mankind. Dear parents, it has been an occasion that has been eagerly awaited by all of us. The students to exhibit their talents, the teachers to unearth the potentialities of their students, and the parents to be delighted to see their children perform on the stage. Today's program, dear parents, has been planned and organized to show you the kind of education based on values and virtues that is being imparted to the students at school so that you can strengthen these concepts in children at home too. There can be harmony in the young minds only if harmony exists between the home and the school. Our institution focuses not only on the academic achievements but also on values and virtues for we truly believe in making every child a gift of God to mankind and a pride of the human race. Founder manager of City Montessori School, Dr. Jagdish Gandhi, introduced the chief guest, Mr. Abdul Manan. It is my privilege to introduce our chief guest, Honorable Mr. Abdul Manan, Minister for Science and Technology, Government of Uttar Pradesh, who has very kindly honored us by his gracious presence to inaugurate the second international biotechnology, biotechnology Olympiad Quest 2011. With a natural sense of social service from early childhood, Honorable Mr. Abdul Manan joined public life decades ago to serve the poor people of the state. The aim of education is to make every child a light of the world. Here is to light a lamp of learning by the teachers, chief guests and other dignitaries. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. For this 
precious Stop. need the Lord. Keep this light, all this burning, forever and ever. May this light spread apart all over the world for peace and harmony. The festival was declared open by the chief guest. The guest switched on the festival logo. I hereby declared Second International Festival of Biotechnology 2011 open.